Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you a demo of the second assignment of CL4 which involves R and R Studio. To install R, we'll be following the steps on this link, also available in the description below. The R language is an important tool for development in numeric analysis and machine learning spaces. With machines becoming more important as data generators, the popularity of the language can only be expected to grow. But R has both pros and cons that developers should know. R's advantages include its package ecosystems. The vastness of package ecosystem is definitely its strongest qualities. If a statistical technique exists, odds are that there is only already a package out there for it. The graphics and charting capabilities are unmatched, which we shall see soon. As the biggest of all, R is open source. As for the shortcomings, memory management, speed, and efficiency are probably the biggest challenges that R faces. Also, it cannot be embedded in a web browser. You cannot use it for web-like and internet-like apps. RStudio is an integrated development environment for R. It includes a console, syntax highlighting editor that supports direct code execution as well as tools for plotting, history, debugging, and workspace management. Installing R is pretty easy. Strangely, the packages which we need to install require R to be the latest version and this requires us to install Ubuntu 16.04. Commands are pretty easy and self-explanatory. First, we need to install the packages that is A rules and A rules visualization. Before you install A rules visualization, we are required to have some added functionalities like OpenSSL installed. So let's go on and install them first. The A rules package provides the infrastructure for representing, manipulating, and analyzing transaction data and patterns. The A rules visualization package extends the package A rules with visualization techniques for association rules and item sets. Now that we are done, let's load the libraries. We will be using the inbuilt groceries database for this assignment. The data, length and size commands help us take a closer look at the dataset. The inspect command is used to display the list of the items. It can also be used only to display a set of items. This shows only the first five transactions in the dataset. Before we make any rules, let's see by charting the groceries dataset. We can find the frequent item sets step by step as in case of the a priori algorithm. There are two phases involved, the join phase and the prune phase. We pass min length and max length to decide the size of the frequent item sets and the minimum support parameter to prune the data set to select only the item sets satisfying the minimum threshold. The commands are used as follows. We can continue this until no frequent item sets are further found. Now let us find the association rules. A low support and high confidence helps us to extract strong relationship even for less overall co-occurrences in the data. You will always have to pass the minimum required support and the confidence. We set the minimum support to 0.001. We set the minimum confidence of 0.6. Then we show the top 10 rules.
and this completes the assignment.